Alright guys, how's it going? I feel like I've been reviewing add-ons all week, <laughs> but to be fair, this is a very good add-on, and it's called Text FX. Now if you've not seen what this add-on is capable of, we'll look at some of the very basic options, we'll play around a little bit, and we'll try and replicate what I've done in the introduction. So in traditional fashion, we'll delete the cube, and I'll press the N key to bring up the Properties tab. And you'll see here, Text FX. We'll add in a text object, and we'll make it simple, a bit like myself. Now we have several different options, we have Increment, Typewriter, Scramble, etc. So let's take a quick look at Increment. And it pretty much does exactly what you think it's going to do. It'll count up in incremental stages. Pretty damn cool effect. So let's look at the typewriter effect. This is a personal favourite of mine. And we'll just change the text to say something generic. Now this add-on functionality pretty much replicates all the way through. So we can control the start frame, the duration, so we can put the duration up. I'll go back to the start of the timeline, I'll hit play, and we get this really nice typewriter effect, or a BBC macro in my day. Now, if you want to extrude the text, you come to the green A, which is Object Data, come to Geometry, you can do an extrusion, and you can also do a slight bevel. So that's pretty cool, and to be honest, it would be a little bit tricky to animate. So let's look at the other options. We have Scramble. Now if you've ever seen The Matrix or Mr. Robot, this essentially scrambles the characters, and then it delivers the final text. So we get something like this. And again, the options are pretty much the same. We can control the start frame and the end frame. So this is the one that I used in the intro video, and it's called Timer. So we can set the timer, and I'm going to do minutes and seconds. And because we're on 25 frames per second, every 25 frames, we'll get one second added to the clock. So I'll quickly select this object. I'll quickly rotate it. Let's make it 90 degrees. And let's just quickly center the object. And the next thing I'm going to do is add in a mesh and add in a plane. I'll then come to the modifier options and I'll add in an ocean. Now it's a little bit large so I'll scale this down a little bit. I'll hit apply and then I'll add in a wave modifier. And we get this really nice wave effect. And that's pretty much how I've done the introduction video. Add in an HDRI environment play around with some of the textures, and Bob's your uncle. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter because I've got no mates, you know what to do, peace.